Friday morning, and I've been woken up by these two princesses. Say salam alaikum, everybody. Hello. 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 <laughs> All right, let's get this vlog started. <laughs> Okay, so this is our breakfast morning fruit. Who likes fruit? Me! Yeah, all right. Go on, then you can have some fruit. Okay, so fruit's done. It's Syrian breakfast time. Alhamdulillah, olives, eggs, muhammara, leban. All right, so it's Friday 27th of October. And clocks have gone back for winter, so it's 10.30, Juma is in an hour, 11.30, man, it's too early. So, today's vlog, inshallah, we're going to be visiting another masjid. I'm going to try and keep it short and sweet. Uh, we're going to check out one of these masjids that we built. And we are also going to check out some disabled families, a sister called Rainbow Ed on Insta. Uh, told us a story saying that her husband is disabled. And maybe it would be inspirational for him to see how Syrians live with disabilities within the refugee camp. So we're going to visit this masjid and hopefully close to it, we're going to go visit some disabled people. And late again as always for Jamal. I don't know why it's fine these days. Getting late every time. Marty, where are we going? Going to masjid. Where are we going? Going to masjid. Going to masjid. Okay, mashallah. So I've got Marty with me today. My little boy, and inshallah, we're on our way. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. So you can see we're at the masjid, everyone's finished Juma, and look how many people are coming out of this masjid. You can see from both sides, this masjid was initially existing like that and we extended it. This is Masjid Umar bin Khattab. So smile, you get ajr for all of the people that pray salah here, inshallah ta'ala. Okay, so brother Muhammad Naveed, we're on top of the masjid that you guys built. Masjid Umar bin Khattab. I want to show you exactly where we are and why this masjid is so amazing. You can see all around our refugee camps. This is probably one of the only proper buildings here. That's a full 360 and all you can see is tents and tents and tents. So may Allah bless you guys. One of the amazing projects that's really a big benefit for the Ummah. May Allah bless you and your parents and accept this from you guys as a Sadqa Jariah. Alright, so we're in the camps and we've just come in randomly. I was supposed to be seeing other families. But we've come in uh, to see some of the people here. We're going to go into this tent. And there's an old lady here. Assalamu alaikum. Shalaki Hajji. Ali and his daddy. Keep going to mom. Alhamdulillah. I'm going to get you. What do you want, Hajji? I'm going to get you a toilet. A toilet. And you don't want to go there? How do you want to go from here to here? I don't want to go there. تستطيع فرجيني كيف توصل الى هونيك؟ ما احسن هيك اتعبها هيك زحف يعني ايوه ما احسن يعني اقوم على ركبي ما احسن انت تطلعي برا شيء؟ لوين؟ يعني بالشمس يعني منين والله لهون من هون لهون يعني لا تجي الشمس على الخيمه يعني لازم واحد بيساعدك فوت بكرسي تطلعي شوي هالكرسي كويس مو كويس دواليبه عم ينزلوا هذول so we bought this lady, this uh, wheelchair, quite a while back. Subhanallah, it's difficult. Okay, so we're here with another sister, and uh, she's got severe burns living in the camps. Shu sar mak ya ukhti? Walla ma salhu anda lam salih. Wa kan tirfi al mara am trakib al ras. Wa dalma tikrbu rafatu. Wa kan ilib alay fajr alay. Fajr alay. Wa shu sar al an anti anda kharak? Subhanallah. 
So Spanla, you can see that the sister, she was cooking on, on this cooking apparatus, which is, you can see it's a homemade device um, and it blew up. And Subhanallah, she's here in the camps. She doesn't have any medicine. They're saying, she's saying the doctors just gave her Vaseline. You can see that her hands um, are really badly burnt and her face also. Um, and she's asking for us to help her with, with treatment, inshallah. Okay, so we're just walking through the camps. Apparently, there's a lot of people that are burnt here at the moment because of the, the things that they use to cook on and stuff are dangerous. This kid here is burnt. Ta'al, ta'al, Hassan, ta'al. Allahu Akbar. This kid we're in the middle of the camps, you can see that he's got severe burns uh, all on his behind, all on his stomach and he's got raw wounds on him, he's got flies on him. Look, you can see there's like open sewage and he's got like raw wounds. Wow, that's that's you have pain. Subhanallah. When he take his uh, some address, you have pain. And to show us back, Bassam? Bassam, you have Salih. Barakallah fi. Hey, Mahalak? Yalla, Faddan. So you can see this man is disabled. Anna Jai, Anna Jai. You can see we're in the middle of a refugee camp. And these are like makeshift shops. Assalamu alaikum, shukum. Bait kun hoon khalf shunak ya hajji. Kif kun? Wallah bakhir alhamdulillah. Hey mahal kun? Khalas anti takka foon bassam. Hakini bassam. Anti kif ta'ish bil mukhayyamat yani anti mu'aak yani shlon wada hayatak. والله واضح الحياة يا أبو حسام صعب عندي ولد وجايني ولد على الطريق ولا شيء ولا عمي وعم نطلب من الله ومن المنظمات ومن الشباب ومن الإسلام أن يصير لنا عمل والحمد لله ما في عمل بالمنطقة هون؟ ما خصوصا عندي هون ما عندنا عمل خالصا أنت أنت قادر العمل أو لا؟ أنا إذا في عمل قادر العمل لكن ما في عند لا أحد العمل للواسطات هون للموجودين حوالينا سبحان الله والان انت تشتغل بالبركيه هون هاي لوالدتي انا بيجي لعندها بريحها شوي الحمد لله هاي كانت لاختي بعد بعد ما شاء الله الحجي دائما يبتسم ما شاء الله ايش ما ننسى الحمد لله الحمد لله الحمد لله الحمد لله الله يجمعكم بارك ان شاء الله ويجمع على جميع الله يبارك فيك حاليا انا بصور مقطع الناس معاقين كيف حياتهم بالمخيمات والله حياتنا صعبه وعندي ولد وقطعها مرض بالصحايا شو مشكله مع رجلك ممكن يشوف رجلك اجري هاي اضعف من هيك هي اضعف من هيك تمام اضعف من هيك والحمد لله رب العالمين على السراء والضراء سو باك تو ذا مسجد فور صلاة العصر ما شاء الله لوك ذيس از صلاة العصر جايز هاو ماني بيبل ان ذا مسجد come back to pray Asr and I wanted to do this uh, video for you guys because I want you to understand that mashallah this masjid is one of those masjids that is a proper working masjid look at all the children and this is the generation that we're building that in your masjid for Salat al-Asr this is not Juma. it's not uh, any other Salat it's a normal Salat in the middle of the day and all of these children are in the masjid mashallah there are a lot of children in the masjid and everything is good yes, there are a lot of children do you like the children? we are the children we are the children so Hadji here is saying that we've got lots of children but we don't have enough teachers إن شاء الله أنت أنت تد تدرس الأولاد. ما والله أنا أدرس الأولاد بس يا أخي عندي عندي كثير أشغال يعني أنا أدرس ما. So we just finished praying Asr Salah. الحمد لله amazing thing ما شاء الله. I've been told that there's a sisters Islamic class going on here, which is amazing because الحمد لله we build these masjids. But what's more important is the fact that they're being used. So you just saw lots of kids here for Salat al Asr, and now there's a dars going on here. For women, mashallah, um, teaching them Quran, teaching them fiqh, aqidah, so on and so forth, which is amazing. So, inshallah, we're going to try and speak to the, the head teacher here and take a look at what they're doing. Awal and assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Ya ukhtifi batta barayin, 
عمروا هذا المسجد دعموا هذا المسجد وبهمهم يعني المساجد لا يدل الفاضي يعني هل هذا المسجد يعني يستخدم يعني ما هو ال... نعم والحمد لله المسجد يقام فيه حلقات تعليم قرآن وتعليم أمور الدين يعني أمور الشرعية والحمد لله الحمد لله ويعني معناتها في فائدة للناس هنا النازحين نعم تقام فيه صلوات أيضا مع صلاة الجمعة وتعليم صل صغار ونساء ولله الحمد بارك الله فيك وأنت أنت متتوى هون نعم ما شاء الله الله يبارك فيك جزاك الله خيرا وياكم ان شاء الله سهم بيك هي ما شاء الله this is the reciting الحمد لله and this is the result of you guys building this masjid الحمد لله alright so it's been a long day الحمد لله هاي شو صار تأصلنا heading home ما تأصل it's absolutely smacked this is what you know aid work does to you so ما تأصل it's absolutely chaotic um, just a final, just final few words. You know, life in the camps is very hard. But Hamba, when we can build a masjid, when we can make it a center, what people are benefiting from, you know, spiritually, it can motivate and give them that therapy that they need. So all the other trials and difficulties they have in life are made so much easier. Today we went and visited some people who are disabled. And these are just only a few cases. Literally, this is just from walking around. Some of them I know from before, some of them I didn't. But you know, these are the difficulties people face. So finally, seeing that child with these burns all down his, his back, they, they were saying they just leave him naked all the time. Seeing that lady from cooking, all of her face, you know, was burnt and she's just using Vaseline, has no, 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 no medicine. Seeing that lady sitting, old lady crying and saying, please, someone send me to Turkey. I'm just sitting in my tent all day long. She has to crawl to the toilet um, and she does toilet in a, in, in a, in a bucket. Really saddening. And then, of course, seeing that man as well, Bassam saying that, you know, they have no work. Even though he's disabled, he wants to work, but they need, you know, job opportunities. So these are some of the difficulties that people who are disabled within the refugee camps face. May Allah make it easy for them. Jazakallah khair for watching this vlog, and inshallah, hopefully, we'll see you once again. From the blessed land of Bilal al